Are you ready for another episode of Amanda tries to give herself a heart attack in her 20s? That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Swell Entertainment and today we are reviewing G Fuel. Fuel for gamers. I should hold it up. What am I doing? I, if you're doing this long enough, I should have this G Fuel. Fuel for gamers. I've been talking about reviewing G Fuel for like two years now. This video is partially going to be an I tried it so you don't have to, but also a non-gamer girl review because G Fuel mostly does partnerships and collaborations with streamers slash gamers. And I'm not that, I don't, I don't do that. Content wise, it doesn't make much of a difference. It just means that I get to put this video on two different playlists. This video is really just gonna be me trying a bunch of G Fuel flavors. That's gonna be it. That's, re that's really it. I'm just gonna try a bunch of other products and see how it goes. And we're gonna see if my heart's gonna stop. That's gonna be it. I told myself I was only allowed to have one cup of coffee today. I still think that might be too much. So I bought a couple of their bundles and then I bought a couple other stuff just so I had like a variety to try. So we've got G Fuel Energy Formula in French vanilla because it sounded good. And then I did two of their shaker bundles. So we've got uh, a variety pack of their stuff. So we've got a bunch of flavors of G Fuel, probably some duplicates in here. These are their G Fuel Energy Crystals. And I already can tell I'm not gonna like these because they look like they're gonna be sour and I don't like sour. G Fuel Energy and Focus, Extreme Focus, the official drink of G Fuel. What the fuck is this? Oh, these are cans of stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, there's Sonic on here. Oh, it's been a while since I've talked about the hedgehog. Nice. Peach rings, energy drink, zero calories per can. That's always exciting. So I sort of have a little story related to G Fuel, but not really. Uh, I don't know if this was 2019 VidCon or 2017 VidCon. I didn't go into 2018. I went to TanaCon. But one of those years, there was a big whole booth for a sponsor at VidCon for Gamer Fuel. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll go up and see if they're just giving out free samples of G Fuel because then I can make my video at no cost to myself. I didn't realize that Gamer Fuel and G Fuel were two different things. I'm not a gamer, why the fuck would I know? Walked up to one of the booth promoters and uh, they, I was like, oh, did you guys change the name from G Fuel? Oh God, I wish I had multiple people with me so I could properly demonstrate the way that the three people working this booth acted <laughs> in this sense because they were all like, what, mm, G Fuel? I've never heard of G Fuel. I don't know what this is. No, this is Gamer Fuel from Mountain Dew. That's what this is. So that was a bit of a mistake on my part, but I'm not gonna feel bad about it because they clearly memorized that for a reason. Anyway, real quick, this is a do as I say, not as I do video. Um, we're just gonna review things, okay? I'm just gonna tell you about these flavors and stuff. Uh, do not consume this amount of G Fuel, please. Don't, just don't. I don't want you to go to the hospital and then be like, well, Swell Entertainment drank copious amounts of G Fuel and she was fine. Well, we don't know if I'm fine yet. Who knows? We're gonna find out. I wanna also acknowledge the warning on these because I know someone's gonna comment this and I just wanna address it. Uh, warning, consuming this product can expose you to chemicals including lead, which is known to the state of California to cause birth defects or other reproductive harm. For more information, go to p65warnings.com. Do not exceed recommended dose, we're ignoring that part. Anyway, there is trace amounts of lead in G Fuel. However, the trace amounts of lead are for the most part normal for something that contains this amount of natural ingredients, okay? Because of how those ingredients are like literally harvested and farmed, like it's shit in the soil. It's just, an, it's, a, it's a thing that happens. Prop 65, I've talked about that in other videos, I think. I think I talked about that um, in my uh, flat tummy tea video and then also in my care of video. That's something I'm very used to seeing here in California. There, I see it in coffee shops. I see it at parks and shit. California is very on top of making sure you know the risks of everything. I'm not too worried about pregnancy defects at this current time. As you guys know, I did Accutane. There's a lot of possible birth defects if you get pregnant on that. Also, I'm not currently having sex, let alone having sex to get pregnant. I think I'm fine. I thought of a joke, but it was mean. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> anyway, G Fuel. Yes, Gamma Labs that makes G Fuel. Um, they settled a lawsuit with the Environmental Research Center in 2018 um, because of the amount of lead in the supplement. The company was required to include the California Prop 65 warning on the label. Um, allegedly, they originally did not. Now they do. There's a warning on literally every piece of G Fuel that I got. The case was settled for $118,000. 
I'm still gonna drink it. So like I said, I did a couple shaker bundles as well. Uh, so I've got this glow in the dark little one and then this one from FaZe. I have this thing with FaZe content, specifically on YouTube, I don't watch any of their streams really, where I like, don't watch anything from them. I'm not subscribed to any of them. And then every couple of months, I just get in a certain mood where I just only want to watch phase videos for like three days. I don't know why. It's very weird. Maybe I just like controlled chaos in small doses and that's why I do that to myself. Who knows? So there's 40 servings in this. Okay, so what's the actual serving size? So I can just start. Add one scoop to 12 to 16 ounces of cold water, shake or stir before using. Okay, I'm gonna do half scoops of everything. <laughs> Uh, just so my heart doesn't stop. So that's what we're gonna do here. Um, so I'm probably gonna do a half a scoop and then like eight to 10 ounces of water. I died because of G Fuel? That'd be really fun clickbait. I feel like a lawsuit would benefit me more than it would hurt them. Wait, does it not come with a scoop? What the fuck? Okay, wait, scoop of what? Okay, what's a scoop then? I'm not digging my hand in there. There's no fucking way. Okay, hang on. Does it not come with a scoop? This is ridiculous, hang on. Oh, I think I found it. There is a scoop. I did stick my hand in here. I'm the only one drinking it. My dad's not gonna touch this shit, are you kidding me? This is the most confusing scoop. That's like half-ish, okay. Wow, that went all over the place. I'm doing great. And then I'm gonna add some water to this. I'm gonna add about eight ounces and go from there. Riveting stuff right now, right? Okay. So this is supposed to increase energy and focus. <laughs> that doesn't taste terrible. Okay, you know like the, the pre-made Starbucks like mocha drinks, like the iced mocha drinks? It kind of tastes like that if you cut it with water. And I'm not gonna talk about like, oh, it's bland, it's not bland, because obviously I'm cutting the dose or like the recommended serving size. So the flavor is gonna be slightly different, but it doesn't taste bad. I wasn't gonna drink the whole thing, but now I feel like I should. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I was kind of hoping that after I drank G Fuel, Feel For Gamers, that I was suddenly gonna understand what the fuck Rust is because everyone on Twitter and uh, all the Twitch people are talking about it and I still don't understand. Um, so that's a downfall for G Fuel, 100%. Anyway, in conclusion, would probably drink this again. Energy, focus, endurance, reaction. Why am I already shaking? Sorry. <laughs> Made sure I ate breakfast. I'm gonna eat literally right after this. I'm gonna go get fucking pasta or something with a lot of carbs. I don't know if that'll help anything. Aren't you guys excited for when I move to LA next week and instead of never ending landscaping, you just get the never ending cityscape of LA traffic? It'll be a fun little rebranding. I'm gonna clean this and then we're gonna try the Sonic one. I would wait until they were done, but I have no idea when they're done and it always feels like it lasts six hours. And I'm trying not to film this video too late in the day because of how much caffeine I'm consuming and I would like to eventually sleep tonight, you know? You'll live with the landscape ASMR. Anyway, I am not drinking this whole thing today. I, I can't, I don't know what a fuck. Performance energy, Jesus. I need to go, should I just go run, for, run a marathon? Would this help me edit faster? That'd be great. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't have a caffeine addiction, but I don't know how much longer I can say that before I start lying to myself. I do love the can design. It looks pretty fucking cool. Peach rings, zero calories. I'm sure it's fine. I really should just be getting used to this, you know, because let's face it, I talked about this in my Raid Shadow Legends video. If you didn't watch it, go check it out. I'll put it up here. Though I'm not a gamer, I do like watching gaming content and I'm probably just gonna end up with a gamer. Like that's just probably something that I've self-fulfillingly prophesized for myself. So I get to just come to terms with that. This tastes like something and I can't decide what it tastes like. Like it tastes like another drink. I want to say cactus cooler, but that's not it. It's good though. There's something about artificial peach flavoring that just hits something different, you know? Contains natural and artificial flavoring, so I'm not sure how much is natural and what's artificial, but it's really good. Okay, I need to do something else. I can't even drink this, but I'm absolutely gonna drink all of these because this is really good. <laughs> okay, should I try one of the other? Oh, should I do the crystal shit? God damn it, I don't want to. I've gone my whole life without doing crystal. I've avoided it. 
and now I'm willingly going to do it for a YouTube video. If I get demonetized for that joke, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Okay, so we've got sour cherry, blue ice, and green apple. I'm gonna do blue ice because I already don't like green apple as a flavor. Um, should I just do a giveaway of just the green apple? G Fuel Flavor Crystals, Swell Entertainment Giveaway. <laughs> oh, open for facts. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no instructions on this. God damn it. This is another do as I say, not as I do moment. Don't use your teeth to open things. I just have giant teeth, or at least that's what my comment section always tells me, so why not put them to use? Oh god, what if I open this and it just tells me to snort? Snort the crystals. Just snort them. Okay, directions. Simply drop a few tiny crystals onto your tongue and they instantly fizz and pop on your mouth, followed by a burst of energy. See, they're like, it's like powdery though, so I don't, it's not like one crystal. My audience is pretty 50-50 gender split, so uh, sticking my tongue out on camera is kind of, you know, a catch 22, like I don't know how that's gonna go for me. So I'm gonna pull out a couple, I'm literally gonna not pull out the actual powder. I'm gonna pull out a couple of crystals. This is my life now. Pulling crystals out of a tube to put on my mouth on camera. Can you see? Riveting content. Okay, so now I have another joke, but it's way too sexual. <laughs> oh, it's like Pop Rocks. There's not a lot of flavor there, I'll tell you that. It's probably because, Jesus, the flavor is mostly in the um, the powdery bits and not the actual crystal bits. Okay. <laughs> it's basically just Pop Rocks. I mean, to be fair, when I used to just sneak Pop Rocks into my lunch for like recess in elementary school, I used to bounce off the fucking walls every time I ate it. So. Probably would give you a burst of energy in that regard as well, because it's just like, hello. I'm gonna try the sour cherry one just to say that I did. The shaking's not getting worse, so that's good at least. I think I just, I, it's, okay, for the record, so no one freaks out. G Fuel is not making me shake. It's not making my heart palpitate or anything like that. I am 5'2", consuming copious amounts of caffeine and energy, okay? that That's what's doing it. Someone who is taller, bigger than me, I'm fairly small, you know? Like it's, you, you'll be fine probably, okay? I just like, I have a high tolerance for caffeine, but that doesn't mean that my body agrees with my high tolerance for caffeine. Does that make sense? Oh, this isn't sour at all. For the energy crystals, wow. <laughs> Okay, so for the energy crystals, as far as flavor goes, it's kind of like the like sour cherry. It's kind of like if you have this in your mouth and then someone two doors down yells the word cherry. Like it's just the vague illusion of the suggestion of the flavor cherry. Same with the blue. Oh my God. Okay, I'm fairly certain these are all the same thing. It's just more, it's like G Fuel samplers. God, I have zero desire to try grape. Okay, let's try uh, Tropical Rain. Let's do that, okay. Should I try the, let me try the bigger cup. So I think one pack is the same as like a full scoop. So I'm gonna do half this pack and save the other half because again, trying not to die. Only vaguely trying, I'm still doing this. So I mean, it's not like I'm trying super hard. God, the peach is really fucking good, I'm sorry. All right, face shaker. I do like that there's a measuring thing on the side. Is there one on this? There is not. It's not bad. Sorry if I made a weird face that first sip. It was just like a straight blast of powdery taste, but like wet to my mouth and that felt freaking weird. It's kind of like, oh, okay. I know what this tastes like. Um, if you've ever had tropical flavored Tums, that's what this tastes like. I have to drink this whole thing again, don't I? Much more powdery bits at the bottom for that one, but this one also didn't foam up nearly as much as the um, French vanilla did. Also, if anyone is genuinely concerned about my health with how much caffeine, energy, whatever the fuck I'm consuming right now, um, I don't drink alcohol at all. I just don't. Um, so whatever uh, health benefits that gives me, this is just like taking that pocket from, this is just like ruining that side of my life, I'm assuming, I don't know. But again, do as I say, not as I do. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian. I have an English degree, that is it. 
Inspired by Faye's rug, sour blue chug rug. Listen, rug, no hate to you. I'm just not drinking this. Okay, I'll do Faye's berry and PewDiePie just to cap this out and then I gotta stop. I'm just gonna, I'll stop there. PewDiePie. I'm sorry. It's literally just called PewDiePie, but there's like berries on here. What do you think? Big thing of spaghetti after this? Like spaghetti, meatballs, you know? I think that'd be good. Yeah, none of these are foaming the way that the French vanilla foamed, which is interesting. Spray dried decaffeinated coffee. It could be that. But yeah, I have no idea why this is foaming and this one's not. Anyway. <coughs> I feel like it's all over my glasses. Okay, it's sour. Not terrible. It's more of a tart than a sour. But oh my gosh, it's not bad. I don't think it's supposed to be cherries but it tastes like strawberries, so I don't know. PewDiePie, what the fuck is your flavor? Okay, I would use the other shaker for the phase berry, but I feel like someone's gonna get like irrationally angry at me in the comment section if I don't use the phase shaker for the phase berry. Does that make sense? Oh, and if you're wondering, cause I didn't show this part, uh, the inside bit with the uh, grate for the shaker bits, I believe just pops out. So you can wash it all separately. So on the Faceberry packaging, okay, we've got blueberries, strawberries, and I think pomegranate on here. There's just like rainbow powder all over my pants. It looks like I snorted Smarties or something. It doesn't taste bad. I just don't think I did enough powder because I can barely taste anything. It's pretty good. It's definitely not tart, but I mean, it could be tart. I could have easily just added too much water. Okay. I'm done. I need to stop. I really should stop like five minutes ago, but I'm done. Okay, now I'm done, no more. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that my heart or something would stop because then I'd have a conclusion to this video, but I don't really have a conclusion other than I tried a bunch of G Fuel flavors. I would probably buy the French vanilla again because it is good. As far as the best option for like trying things out, I would suggest getting one of the shaker options with some of the sample, uh, like one, flavor dose packages. Then you can figure out which ones you like and then buy a tub if you would like to buy a tub. Talking feels weird, but I can't explain why. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm hyper-focused or not focusing. It's hard to, wow, okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> I like the Sonic, uh, the peach one. This is really good. I keep drinking this. This is good. Uh, this is the uh, peach rings. I'm gonna end this and go eat pasta or something. I need to eat. I'm. Wow, my arms feel weird. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> if you're seeing this video, I'm probably fine. Editing Amanda, jump in and tell people you're fine, please. I'm fine. My room's just in shambles because I'm literally moving in like two days. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat pasta and I'm gonna end this video. Um, have you ever tried G Fuel? What's a G Fuel flavor you like? Are you an actual gamer? Are you not a gamer, but you just like G Fuel for whatever reason? And I need to slow down. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, shout out to my patrons. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, they'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. And, <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Oh, Jesus. <laughs>